Welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I am actually going to be doing a video that was kind of requested, um, but I actually kind of decided to make it into a block. So you guys are actually getting three videos today. Um, the first one is going to be on this beautiful thing right here, and it is Marc Jacobs' Daisy Dream. And then you guys are going to get a Daisy Dream Forever and a Daisy Dream Blush review as well. So here's my review on Daisy Dream. So this perfume, perf 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 yeah, because I can't speak words. This perfume launched in 2014. It was supposed to be a more sophisticated interpretation of the original Daisy, but it kind of spin off in its own pillar and create some flankers itself. So I actually have the what's called the In Your Dreams gift set. So it's in this like round cylinder, and on top of here it says Daisy Dream, um, and then it just says Daisy Dream on the front here. I got stuck on it um and then it says in your dreams customize your fragrance and personal um so on the back it's got this and it shows you what you get in here so it says either alone or layered um fragrance daisy dream apply the two new fragrances ac accords to create your signature scent sweet dream is a sparkling fruity notes with a hint of blackberry and daydream is an airy ethernal notes with a touch of blue wisteria so this takes two of the notes that are in the original Daisy Dream and gives you a rollerball to layer it and kind of create your own fragrance. So, or you could just layer them together. So it comes off like this, and then they sit in here like this. Um, your rollerballs look like this. So this is the um, Daydream one, and then this is the Sweet Dream one. So, and then let's put these back in here. And then your bottle, Ooh, let's put this over here, it looks like this. So it says Daisy Dream on the front here. And it's got like this kind of floral motif around here and you got the florals on top as well. Um, when this first came out, there was like the display in the store was like this big tree with these flowers on it. And I actually have that tree and I love, love, love this. I think it's super, super cool. Um, and I actually had the... Um, bottle by itself and then I end up getting the um this set because I wanted these rollerballs so like I said this is the daydream and this is the sweet dream I really really like the sweet dream because it's got that like blackberry note to it um because I like the berry fragrance but I like the blue wisteria on its own as well and the blackberry is gonna you know when you layer them you roll the rollerball and then you put the fragrance over top of it I'm not a huge rollerball fan and the literal reason behind that is the fact that like so, this little ball up here, when you roll it against your skin, this thing literally is picking up dead skin cells and pulling them and putting them into the perfume. As you can tell, I don't really, like, I've used this a couple times, but literally, like, I don't like rolling it on my skin just because it bothers the living crap out of me. So, anyway, Daisy Dream has notes of blackberries, pear, blue wisteria, jasmine, coconut water, um, and I feel like there's some other things in here that aren't listed. There's cedar wood, white wood, musk, um, and grapefruit as well. So, I really, really like this one. This isn't my favorite one out of the, like, out of all the daisies. So, when you first, 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 first spray this, you get floral. And I mean, it, you get the reminiscence of it being similar to the original Daisy. Um, but you do definitely get that little bit more sophisticated. It's slightly powdery in a way, but not at the same time. The florals kind of create this crispness to the fragrance, but at the same time, like I said, it's slightly powdery and elegant. I definitely do get the more sophisticated side of this. I feel like the original Daisy would be something you would wear in your late teens, early 20s, and this would be more like your 30s and 40s. Not that it's, you know, obviously age, fragrances aren't supposed to have an age in my opinion. I just feel like this is how it works a little bit better. So, as it starts to dry down though, you get a little bit more of the berry note, but not a lot. 
it doesn't really really come out a whole whole lot but it definitely does stay very floral throughout the entire fragrance with the name like Daisy Dream. Obviously, it's going to be a very floral fragrance. As it starts to dry down, though, you do get a little bit of that wood and the musk in there. But it isn't too heavy. This fragrance is very light throughout the whole entire thing. Um, I definitely feel like this is a daytime, springtime scent. I get about six hours of lasting power on it. It doesn't last too terribly long, but it's not too terribly short either. Just kind of the normal um, perfume lasting power. So... This is an Eau de Toilette Daisy Dream Forever, which I'll be reviewing next, is the Eau de Parfum version. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.